What's up, YouTube? I'm Valentin the Mad, and this is Fallout 4 Gore Mods Recommendation Video 1. So as I promised in the Gore view, I'll be making videos about mods that improve different aspects of the gore effects in the game, and about two months after Fallout 4 was released, we got some fun things to discuss. So, let's get going. The first mod in the list is Enhanced Blood Textures by the Defender 1. The first function of this mod is replacing the blood splatter textures to gory looking ones. The mod doesn't improve the spilling itself at the moment, however that's planned once the game's source files will be released. And I'm fairly confident about it happening. The Enhanced Blood Textures mod for Skyrim did a good job with that. The second function is improving the wound decals. By default, a bullet wound was the response for everything, whether you shoot, cut them or anything else. That is no longer the case. Enhanced Blood Textures introduced different decals for shooting, cutting, blunt damage, energy weapons, close and bites, and they look awesome. Really like the small hole, yet lots of blood splattered around for the bullet wounds. Close and bite wounds, however, are buggy in the game itself. I spent a few hours trying to get some footage for that, but it didn't seem to work. The third function of this mod is altering the blood puff effect and the blood on screen when you take hits. On the Nexus page, you can find a guide to make decals stay for as long as you set them, which is also very important. Keep in mind that there are a few optional features you can choose from, such as darker blood or lower resolution decals. You can see what those look like compared to the default mod files at FOMod EBT Images folder. The second mod in the list is Gore Overhaul 3.0 by Nero 1N. The first function of this mod is improving the looks of dismemberment, greatly increasing the detail of the wounds, destroyed limbs, and destroyed heads. This makes the mod a must-have as far as I'm concerned. The second function of this mod is improving the wound decals. Just like enhanced blood textures, Gore Overhaul also has different wounds for all types of attacks and you can choose one out of six possible variations of bullet wounds. Let's have a demonstration of those. Here's the slice wound. Blunt. Energy weapon. Bullet wound V1 normal. Bullet wound V1 extreme. Bullet wound V2 normal. Bullet wound V2 extreme. Bullet wound V3 normal. Bullet wound V3 extreme. Keep in mind that core overhaul and enhanced blood textures can work together, however, you will need to choose the wounds from one of those two mods. The third recommended mod is Real World Damages by Pizzadox. The purpose of this mod, as you can guess, is to make the weapons feel more like actual weapons by making characters much less bullet spongy, which is great. I never understood the appeal of repeatedly shooting a character, seeing little to no response on their side and excusing it with it's an RPG. The mod also offers optional files, such as removing legendary enemies, removing level scaling, and tweaking damage taken by the player or the NPCs even further. To demonstrate the mod, I'll fight the same character with a 10mm pistol, shooting him in the torso. First time with the mod disabled, second time with the mod enabled. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you will enjoy the mods. You can find all of the links in the description below and if you know of any other fun gory mods for Fallout 4, post them in the comment section. Until next time!